Yeah, it's your story. Uh, it's pretty much the same thing. I just the uh, you had to get like a certain game to get this Pokemon, and I remember watching the anime where uh, Electabuzz and Scyther would just hate each other's guts. Oh my god! For like whatever reason, but because ketchup was spilled on their face, if I remember it correctly, they stopped hating each other. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah. So here's a tip to solve all world problems: just cover people in ketchup. Oh, do you know there's actually a thing in Italy where it's like the tomato run? I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Dude, just put that everywhere. It solves all the world's problems. Yes. And, I mean, I like Electabuzz's design, too. I mean, it isn't ridiculously creative, but it, the simplicity of it all. Yeah. Like, everyone in, like, that... You know, whenever someone makes a top ten do not like list about Pokemon, everyone's just like, well, Muck and Grimer and, and Electric, Electrode and Voltorb. And I'm like, uh, simplicity, uh, because they can actually have a relative backstory, uh, because they don't look like fucking garbage that was just, like, horribly photoshopped. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm nitpick on that. I do. Like... There are certain Pokemon, uh, Pokemon from Gen 1 that I didn't like for their designs either. But using that stereotypical argument just, oh, it gets on my nerves. It's okay. It happens to I'm me sorry. too. Rant. Rant. Okay. So no, no, we're going to save the ranting for another video. <laughs> yes. Rant for another video. <laughs> All right. What's your fourth choice? Um... You know what? Oddly enough, Electrovir. Electrovire. Electrobuzz's evolution. Really? Yeah. Huh. It's, it's, it's sort of a like cop out. Yeah, just a little. I'm going to get on to you about that. But what's your reason? I mean, it has the simplicity of Electabuzz, but I think it has so much competitive potential. Oh, and yeah. It, 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 and it just looks like a big toughie. I mean, it looks like it... I mean, if I had goons following me around as soon as I become a mob boss, yeah, I'd want one. Oh. <laughs> that that would be intimidating. Yep, everybody, I'm going to become a mob boss, just, just so you all know. I would just have a Snorlax and then just send it out and use it as, like, a wall. Just be like, get over that now, sucker! And then just be like... <laughs> Well, shit, we can't go around, and now we're trapped in an alley. Oh, well. Guess we'll just sit here until the Snorlax rolls over and crushes us. But he can stand now. He can, and now he can be even more of a blocking power. Yeah, I mean, that's really all there is. I mean, it has great potential competitively. I mean, I haven't dabbled in it too much. Mm -hmm. But I currently own one. I liked using it. Oh, yeah, I want to get one myself, but there's certain egg moves I want on it. I'll talk, I'll talk about it with you later, but um, my fourth choice was Luxray. And same, like, some of the same reasons that, like, I think it has great competitive potential, especially since it gets Guts and Intimidate, so you're not sure if this thing's going to be a powerhouse or try to be more of, like, running on the defensive. I, like, I played Gen 3 briefly, but my, my stuff got pawned off, so, like, my Game Boy... It's a comfort hug. Yeah, I was really upset with that. So, like, my Game Boy SP, my copy of Ruby and Fire Red, and I, it, it all got pawned off accidentally at a yard sale, and I was pissed, but once I got back, like, and I got back in the Pokemon and my uh with a Gen 4 game. I, I believe I got Pearl. That was the first Pokemon I actually encountered was a Shinx. And I was just looked at it. I was like, oh look, it's so adorable. I need this. No, no, I need this. I need this now. So I caught it. I kept it with my party and I just realized that this thing actually had just so much potential in it, and it really helped me through my playthrough. But once I started go, um, playing in competitive, I was just like, I want to use this one day. And then I saw a VGC, and it wasn't, you know, it wasn't legal. And I was just like, 
I'm going to use this someday, but that day is not today. And then I just moped in a corner for like an hour. There, there. Yeah. All right. What's your fifth choice? Uh, Jolteon. Uh, I almost put that on my list, too. What's your reason? I love absolutely all the evolutions. Now, besides the cute couple of Espeon, Umbreon, and my love for Vaporeon, I just love... I mean, Jolteon was my first evolution. Same here, actually. I thought about high five. Me, high five. I thought yeah. I thought about making it into a Vaporeon, but since this was on my I think this was on my copy of Blue and it's like after you get that free Eevee, I was just like I'm just gonna make this Jolteon because I don't have Pikachu. And I just kept it as that. It was like my replacement Pikachu. <coughs> but then I realized I actually really like this thing. I, I was sort of on the same way, and another reason I picked Jolteon is because I had a bunch of friends who did Flareon, and a bunch of friends who did Vaporeon, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to be the cool guy. I'm going to be the nonconformist, and I'm, I'm going to pick the spiky dog thing. <laughs> it's so cute, too, though. It, it is. I mean, I would hug all the evolutions, much love. Except Jolteon would probably hurt, but you'd still hug it anyways. Oh, definitely. It's like, I never said I was a ow. smart man. It's like, ow, 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 I love you, you're so cute. Ow, oh, the pain is real. Ow. Love hurts. Love hurts. <laughs> okay, well, let's forget I just did that. <laughs> oh, no, since I'm going to keep this recording, I will always remember this. Oh, no. <laughs> All right, well, uh, my fifth choice was Heliolisk. Just wait for your reaction on that one. Oh, it took me like half a second to remember who it was, and I'm actually really? intrigued by your... I, I mean, I I have bred one, but I haven't evolved it yet. Do you need a Sunstone? I have a lot of everything, and completely by accident. Ah, alright, well, um, my reason for choosing this is because it's ability free, like, all three of them. Because he has Dragon, Sand Veil, and Solar Power. That means he can be used on basically any kind of weather team. Literally any kind of weather team. When you have something like that, you want to use it. And it was actually one of my first team members that I ever used competitively. And I had I, um, I used it on a rain team. Mm. And it, it, actually, it actually worked really well. But... Solar power is probably a little more useful because that kind of gives you, like, another life orb because of, um, what was it? I think it's, like, it gets boosted to, like, 50 or 30%. I can't remember at the moment, but after I, especially after seeing it put work in U.S. Nationals from seeing the guy up in Top Cuts using it, he almost won and moved on to the second round of top cuts if he had just protected on his Charizard in the last match. Oh, I'm going to beat him up for that if I could. Probably not because I'd actually just hug him for using a Heliolisk on his team. But it got a focus blast off on a Tyranitar. The decimation is real. It made me lose my mind. And that's my story on that. Just, 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 the power is real. That's, that's deep. Oh, yeah. All right. Deep, much, much philosophical. <laughs> last, uh, last Pokemon. Okay, I always feel terrible when I put a legendary in here, but Raikou. Oh, I almost put that on my list, too. I feel like you are following me while I work on these things. No. It's just, Are like, you sure? There's like 50 electric types through all six gens, and then like, you know, we have to pick six. So the odds are we would have at least picked one. Probably. I don't know. Maybe. I can see it happening. Yeah. So, I mean, like, we actually did pick one, so ha, huh, my math is correct. No, I think we also talked about possibly Jolteon and Zapdos. Yeah. Well, no. And we had Electabuzz. Yeah. 
So that's like four out of six. We just have many appreciations for similar things. Much yay. So what's the story? Uh, I loved the legendary dogs in Generation 2. Yes, I still call them dogs, even though there's a huge debate that they're not all dogs. Okay, no. I'm going to say this now. They're dogs, okay? Get over it. They are dogs. Eat it. And, I mean, I started using it recently, but I don't know... You may have seen my uh, interesting bulky Suicune that does the Calm Mind, the Sleep Talk, the Resumus Skull. Oh, no, that's actually a rather common set, but, I mean, like, it's still a really good set. Like, don't yeah, I actually on. tried moving that over to my Raikou, and it's actually working really well. Really? Yeah. I feel like a lot of people usually just go choice specs on it to just, like, max out its power. Yeah, give it that leftovers. Just do the same thing you would do with the, uh, with the Suicune. It's actually really good. Wow. Oh, well, that's interesting. I think, though, like... Out of the three dogs, I still like Suicune the most, just because I love the color blue and purple. I'd have to, I'd have to say Entei's my favorite because of the third Pokemon movie and just for the one line where he says, I am Papa! Oh my god, that was adorable. <laughs> like, yeah. like, I could not take it seriously when he said that. I was just like, aww! I love that little girl so much in that movie. It was so sad, though. I know, I'm like, Ente, you my bro for stepping in and being a responsible imaginary parent. Oh, you're going to make me feels. I'm already feeling. Oh, can't even feels. Can't even. But my last one, and I know this is probably going to seem like a cop-out too, Pachirisu. I won't even send you to your corner. <laughs> you can't even. It's so cute. Like, I liked it before Sage and Park had used it, because it was just so adorable. I finally got a safari with the Pachirisu, which kind of made me happy, because it is adorable. Oh, if you wanted a Pachirisu, I actually have an extra one. Hey, I have a safari now. <laughs> Fine, even though mine had the egg move follow me, so yeah. You know you love me, right? Uh, no. <laughs> if anyone needs me, I'll be in my corner crying. Aw. <laughs> All right, well, my story with Pachirisu is like, again, it's just, it's one of those things where it's just, you have to like it because it's too cute. It's too cute to handle. Like, if now, I... Hmm? Oh, continue. No, no, no. What were you saying? Did you ever watch the Diamond and Pearl series? I only watched, like, one or two episodes. Like, when May was doing the whole competitions thing. Yeah, there was actually a love triangle with Pachirisu involved. Oh, my God. What? Pachirisu loved Lopunny. Lopunny loved Pikachu, if I remember correctly. And Pikachu's like, fuck this. Oh, my God. Yeah, Pikachu's just like, I'm, t he's like, I'm too in love with my human trainer, Ash. Except when he lets me lose to a Snivy. Oh, please no. That's why I stopped watching that series. I didn't even watch the Gen 5 anime. I was like, I didn't even make an attempt to after that. I was just like, you're, ah, no, just no. I'm no. actually going back and watching the first generation while I breed Pokemon. <laughs> Oh, I already just, like, rewatched that when I was first playing through X and Y. So now I'm watching the X and Y anime. And I actually fell down, uh, fell behind a little bit on there. I think there's, like, two or three I missed. But, Pachirisu, like, again, it's adorable. But after seeing Seijin Park use it, it gave me a lot of faith in the meta that there are people out there who do and can successfully use underrated, underused, and just under-loved Pokemon. Just I'm going to make that uh, skill swap uh, slack off work. So help me. Oh, see, that's going to be like running rampant when Oras comes out and VGC makes it so that you can only use, um, not Kalos, Hoenn native Pokemon. Like, slack off, I mean, not slack off, Slaking is going to... All right, well, I think that wraps up the video. I think, yeah, that is. We've gone through all six electric types for both of us. 
All right, everyone, thank mm -hmm. you for watching. Uh, feel free to like and subscribe to uh, Jenna's channel. I will leave a description to that in her, a link to that channel in my description. So go subscribe to her. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.